start at the Release MD step where we're able to review EDHRs and genealogy prior to releasing finished goods for shipment. We can see that all the materials queued for this step are on hold until we review the EDHRs. Here we can review collected data, consumed materials, resources used, and the time and date stamp our AEDs executed each step in the manufacturing process. The full device history of our AEDs is provided with detailed information on each step. Our manufacturing process starts with electronics assembly and then moves to control buttons assembly, adapters assembly, case assembly, testing, final packing, and release. For steps that include checklists, we can see when each step in the checklist was completed and by who. We can also see the electronic signatures in the EDHR document. And for steps that include recipes that are downloaded into equipment, we can see the recipe used and the values for each variable in the recipe. When we are satisfied, everything looks good on the device history record, we can click on the genealogy tab to see a record of material consumptions. The genealogy view shows all the components used to create our finished good. Everything has a time and date stamp when they were consumed, plus lot tracking information. If parts are serialized, then serial numbers are also recorded. This can be important for limiting the impact of recalls. We've released the hold on our AEDs because we're satisfied with what we've seen in the device history record and genealogy. We're now asked to record the release reason, so we select quality. If there were other possible reasons, they would appear as options in this list too. Now we can see the material that we just reviewed is no longer on hold in our release queue. It's now ready to be released to shipping. Our AEDs are now sent to the outgoing step where they will be shipped to customers.